At a ceremony to mark 80 years since Thailand was transformed from an absolute monarchy to a constitutional one, the Prime Minister prayed for good luck. Ying Lak Shinawat is also celebrating a milestone, one many people thought she wouldn't reach. A year ago, this woman with no previous political experience led the poor Thai party to a big election win. It's still remarkable to think that just five years after the military coup, which saw then Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat's administration removed from the offices here at Government House, that his party would rebound to win the election comfortably, be allowed to form the government with his sister, Ying Lak Shinawat, Prime Minister. Ever since, the government, which is strongly influenced by Taksin, seems to have been trying to balance the wishes of its supporters on one side and the coup leader's demands on the other. But the party's desire to push through controversial reconciliation bills and rewrite the military-backed constitution may soon upset the balance. The government's opponents say it's trying to whitewash Taksin's conviction for abusing his power. There's also concern the government's rushing into changes that could create conflict. There has to be something, what you call, sustainable system. And, and this is also very important. Otherwise, it will be a short-term changing. And then, you know, new power come in and then think about it again. So we end up in the same cycle again, vicious cycle. At the start of her term, Ying Lak Shinawat walked straight into a massive disaster. Last year's flooding killed more than 800 people and the government was regularly criticised for poor communication. When the water subsided, attention turned to delivering on an election promise to increase the minimum wage to almost $10 a day. While it and other populist policies have also pushed up the cost of living, the increase in income has been welcomed by workers. Perhaps our expenses have gone up, but we can live with it. In the past 80 years, there have been 18 attempted or successful coups in Thailand. Ying Lak Shinawat's administration has a strong mandate to continue in office, but then again, so did her brother. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.